As I said before, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see what the uh, Clippers' outcome is going to be going into tonight's game and going forward in the season because, to me, the real king of L.A. has returned. And if that's the case, then, well, not only the Lakers are in trouble in the long run, but um, so is everybody else in the league. Because I said before, Kawhi Leonard, to me, is the best player in the NBA when healthy because nobody controls the game the way he does on both ends of the floor, you know, because no, no, nobody has that type of, you know, skill or willpower that Kawhi Leonard possesses. Kawhi Leonard is just a different type of animal. He's a different type of beast when he's healthy because, as I said, you know, whether it's three, four possessions on the other, on the defensive end, Kawhi can lock down a, a superstar a superstar player for a few possessions on the on the other end and then come on the opposite end on offense and still drop 30 efficiently not shoot 30 score 30 points and shoot badly he can drop 30 points in an efficient manner while he's playing good defense you know what i'm saying he doesn't play defense to the level that he once did because he, he, he really can't because he has to conserve his energy for offense and when you have to conserve your energy to be an offensive you know um you know, player, you know, you can't play defense at a high level like you once could because you actually are focused on, you know, building your craft and your offense as well. Whereas if you look at somebody like a Draymond Green, defense is always what he should be able to do until he retires because he can't score. He can't do anything else besides defense and passing. So he can always be looked at as a you know, a straight defender because he can't score like that. Whereas Kawhi, sometimes you forget about how good of a defender he is because he's like a 30-point scorer. He turned himself into a 30-point scorer. And nobody's never seen a player do that who come in the league draft that is a defensive guy and he's a top five, top three player in the league when healthy. That's not something you see a lot. That's very rare to see. So with that being said, it just shows how built Kawhi there is and how built his resume is through his game and how he's developed over time and you know with this team the Clippers is well rounded and balanced as they are as a team with the coach of Ty Lue I mean you're talking about championship in the making if these guys stay healthy I mean it's very possible they can win a championship so um you know I don't want to you know speak too soon but I, I still think that you know Another team to beat in the West over the Warriors. Um, of course, the Warriors, you got to give them respect because they won the championship. But at the same time, you know, the Warriors, to me, can be had. They can be beat. Now, they got some good young pieces. James Wiseman, you know, of course, Jordan Poole still. I mean, he's definitely playing at a high level. Um, you know, Wiggins plays at a high level for them. They got some really good pieces. Then you talk about Kaminga and a few others that they have. They have some really good pieces on their team. So I don't want to discredit anything they have. But the Clippers, to me, you know, based upon what I saw from the Clippers last year without their superstars and Kawhi and PG, and they still found a way to make the playing tournament, almost found a way to make the sixth seed and the actual playoffs without either one of their superstars. I don't know if the Warriors can do that without the Splash Brothers. I just don't see it. So... I, mean, I think the Warriors without the Splash Brothers wouldn't even make the playing tournament. So to me, when you look at that, the Clippers overall just had the better team because that nucleus and that depth that they have, not a lot of teams have that type depth on their roster. Only other team I could think of that have that type depth on their roster is really the Brooklyn Nets in the Eastern Conference. So, you know, with that being said, you know, um, that's the reason why, you know, I said, you know, not too long ago, I can actually see uh, Brooklyn Nets and uh, Los Angeles Clippers in the finals. I can actually see that as the finals this year. So um, I'm sticking with that pick of mine as the finals. You heard it from me early. But um, as I said, you know, as long as Kawhi Leonard's on the floor, the Clippers have a chance to do anything in this world because he is the one type of player that when healthy, it's hard to bet against. The last time we saw Kawhi Leonard, you know, Nobody picked them to go to the finals, but they would have beat the Phoenix Suns if Kawhi Leonard would have been on the floor. It ain't no doubt. And nobody's going to refute that too much because the Phoenix Suns are an okay team. But at the same time, Kawhi Leonard is a monster. And Kawhi Leonard someday couldn't handle in a seven-game series. Devin Booker's good, but we saw Luka rip Devin Booker and that team apart last year. So that tells you, you know, um, they, they are a good team, but they're more built for the regular season instead of the postseason to me. They 
they just you know happened to get to the finals that year because they had a little bit of an easier ride to the finals and it's a lot easier now that you know Co that uh, LeBron is older and last year you know, Kawhi was hurt and on top of that you know there was a lot of people hurt on the uh, Eastern Conference too you know Kevin Durant you know Kyrie and that's the reason why the Bucks I thought made it to the finals but you know hey the better team made it no no discrepancy there but at the same time we know if everybody's healthy in the west the phoenix suns are probably not gonna be the team to go to the finals so um as i said before i feel like the clippers would have a championship now if Kawhi didn't get hurt in that playoffs that year against utah but i mean that's neither here nor there but um we're all about going forward so going forward here you know the clippers have an opportunity to take care of business against the lakers and go forward and Kawhi has an opportunity to build on his resume even more and let everybody know he's still the player he once was before he got injured and um, that's going to make all the world difference, you know, to me with the Clippers, because, you know, to me, um, as Paul George has said before, you know, Kawhi is a one of a kind type player. And when you have one of a kind type players, that means they're special in a way that other players aren't. And to me, Kawhi Leonard defies that so much. He defines that so much in so many ways because he's such a different type player. He gets it done in his own way, but it's so effective because he's mastered the, the intangibles of being great. Great. See, to be great doesn't mean you always have to do the extravagant things. Being great means you do a lot of little things that equal up to big things over time. And it allows you to, you know, stand out amongst your peers. And that's what Kawhi does. He, he masters a lot of little things. Mid-range, you know, get spacing, you know, getting to certain spots on the floor. Even though he doesn't use, even though he's not that speedy of a guy, he, you know, he, 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 he moves at his own pace. Nobody speeds him up because he's found ways to master his craft where people can't stop him even though he's moving at a slower pace and not as as fancy as or flashy as some players in on the court so i mean his game is predicated on executing the plan playing at a high level and you know um turn it up a notch whenever he needs to when the moment calls for it and Kawhi does that the best was the reason why i think he's one of the best playoff performers but i do believe he's gonna have a really good season if he stays healthy and if he can um you know, just maintain during the season and um, go through the ebbs and flows of the season, of course, and get himself really back to the player that he was. Because I believe he will, of course, the, the you know the more he plays. So hopefully he stays healthy. I'm rooting for him, of course. That's my guy. Always have been. So we'll see what the Clippers can do. Um, root for the Clippers to see what they can do as a team, you know, with uh, Kawhi Leonard and seeing where they can go, you know, with this. Um, so let's see what happens. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, uh, better days for Kawhi going forward. You know, glad to see him out there. Excited to see him out there. And um, hey, let's you know, let's ride. Let's ride. Let's see it. Let's um, let's let's continue the show. And hopefully, we see a lot more from Kawhi Leonard and this team, and see where they can take it. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Galia.